Hey guys, so um, today I'm doing an updated straight hair routine. Obviously, this is not straight hair. This is my natural curly hair. Um, I'm just about to go take my shower. It is nighttime. I like to shower and do my hair at night. So, so um, I thought I'd just film the intro while I still had makeup on and stuff because in a minute, um, I'm not going to have makeup on. I'm going to come out of the shower and just go and get right into straightening um, and doing the video. So this is what I'm pretty much going to be straightening. Um, it, when it's wet, it does look a lot curlier, but... This is pretty much how it turns out, just kind of letting it air dry, doing really nothing to it. So, before I, um, when I'm in the shower, I use this shampoo. This is the Kirkland, um, Professional Salon Formula Moisture Shampoo for healthier, softer, shinier looking hair. Um, and this is sulfate-free, 100% vegan, paraben-free, and gluten-free. It's really bright right now because it's nighttime. But that's, that's all wonderful, and, um, I love this shampoo. I've repurchased it twice um i usually don't really care what shampoo i use but i've been really enjoying this one um because it's sulfate free it's really good for your hair it doesn't dry it out and um i like the pomp and it's purple so i don't know <laughs> it's just a really good shampoo and it does actually feel like you're cleaning your hair because with a lot of sulfate free shampoos it feels like your hair isn't getting very clean um and like because it doesn't really get very foamy but this gets pretty foamy and your hair does feel very clean afterwards so I really like that um, sometimes I use the conditioner that goes with this which is the same thing it's just in a white bottle um, and then sometimes I use this this is the Aussie three minute miracle um, deep conditioning um, for damaged dews so I'm sure you've seen this a million times but this stuff is amazing it makes your hair super soft and it's like under five dollars it's like three dollars it's amazing go check it out um so that is what I'm going to be using today because I like to use that when I straighten my hair um because it just makes it feel so much shinier and softer um it's actually very simple it doesn't need that much explaining um you could probably figure it out yourself so <laughs> um yeah this is just kind of what I do it's nothing super extra extraordinary and you don't have to be like oh well that wasn't anything special I know it's just what I do so yeah let's get into it hey guys so um I'm makeup list um but yeah okay so I put my hair up in one of these little totsy turby I don't know that's not what they're called that's the tomato planter <laughs> I don't know these little thingies this one's actually broken the thing broke it used to be like a little loop and now it's not now it's like just a string so I have to like tie it around um but you can get these like at the dollar store um, so my hair is damp it's not dripping wet at all and like you see you see doesn't it look super curly when it's wet and then when it dries it's just like it dries more wavy than curly but when it's wet it's like super curly um okay first thing I do is spray in my Pantene detangler which I'm almost out of, so it's really hard to spray. And then um, my brush is dirty. But um, I know a lot of people like to use combs. They hate using brushes with um, wet hair. I personally don't really mind at all. I don't really think it causes any extra... Um, I'm getting a pimple. I feel it. Um, I don't really think it causes any like extra breakage or anything like that. Um, I've been using a brush my whole life and, you know... I didn't start really getting split ends until I started straightening my hair and stuff, so, um, I like to use brushes, but if you like to use combs and you think, you know, whatever you want, and then I detangle, um, from down up, that way I'm not pulling, um, hard on my hair, and I just kind of hold my hair like this and brush it out, and then I go ahead and I put in the rest of my products, so I'm going to put in my Infusium 23 Frizology stuff, and this just has a little nozzle here, so I just kind of like to... It's like a liquid. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. It's like a liquid. So I put it in my roots and everything because it doesn't make your hair oily at all. And then I kind of put it in the ends. And then I'm going to take some Citrate Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. Again, just so little with this. And I really don't like to use a lot of products when I straighten my hair. Um, so, a little bit of that. Like, um a little more than a dime sized amount and then I focus this like on the like ear down area like this like that and then focus it on my ends because this does have like a split end treatment in it take my um, GVP um, heat protectant um, again I usually use the 
trust in anyone, but I'm out of that, so I'm mean, just using this. So go ahead and spray that all throughout your hair and be generous with this. Sometimes I blow dry it, sometimes I don't, it just kind of depends. We're going to put this on hot and high and just kind of crazily just kind of blow it out. I don't really have a certain technique and that's why it turns out looking like a crazy big poof ball. Okay, so I'm back 10 minutes later and craziness is about to happen. Oh yes. This is what happens when I like flip my hair over and just go crazy blow drying it. So it looks like this. It looks longer though, you know, because it's like a little like yeah. Um <laughs> yeah. So obviously, you know, this isn't gonna work. But if this is the Infinity Pro by Conair straightening iron and it looks like this. It's just black and I have a review on uh, I have it on number 25 and it goes from 1 to 30 so that's probably around 375 ish because it goes up to 425 so probably somewhere around the um, high 300s low 400s area take pretty wide um, pretty thin sections of hair so about that much I'd say and just kind of brush it through, put the rest of the hair on the other side. And then I take my flat iron, which is on 25, like I said. Start at the root, go one, two at the root, and then let me scoop all the way back so you can see. One, two at the root, and then down. And then that kind of just makes it straight, and then to make it super sleek and super straight, just another time through. And you could, you know, use a comb or a brush to hold this in place and stuff. But then you got something like this, so with two easy strokes, you could go from a strand of hair that looks like this to a strand of hair that looks like this. So that's... That's pretty amazing, and that, you know, it's very easy, I just... Pretty much all my hair is strained, even the little back part here. And we're moving on to my bangs. So you just kind of want to play with them like this, and that's pretty much all I do. Just kidding, lol. All right, so I'm just going to kind of pull the rest of my hair back until I strain my bangs just so it doesn't get in my way. And you want to be loosely tying your hair because you don't want to get a dent in it or anything. So. This is the, you know, bang area. These aren't all of my, this isn't all bangs, of course, but, you know, the majority of the bang area. And this part always of my hair gets so freaking frizzy, it's, like, not even funny. Okay, so I like to split it in half. Like this. Take the bottom half. And straighten that out. Just normally straightening the bottom half out just like I've been doing the rest of my hair what we're doing with that we just kind of straightened the um, bottom half away like that and then we're taking the top half which is like my bangs my actual legit bangs we're gonna split those in half yet again Wow. Um, okay, so what I do is I kind of straighten it out and then I take it and like swoop it to the back like that. Just like that. So it kind of like overlaps that part. 
and then I take the very, very top little tiny part, and I straighten that kind of like up, like that, okay, and then I take the very front little piece and I straighten that back, and when I straighten it back it kind of does this little like swoopy effect going on here because it's kind of like I curled it but I didn't but I kind of did not special a lot of people ask me how I straighten my bangs and style them I don't really know why I don't think it's anything too special um I think it's just because of the little swoopiness and it stays really swoopy throughout the day um and you have the little you know oomph voluming there you already saw how my hair looks naturally in the beginning and so that was kind of before and this is after